There's a little known feature in recent iPhones that allows you to take long exposure photos in the dark and this can be great for astrophotography. I'm not sure uh, how recent the phone needs to be but I've taken great astrophotography photos with an iPhone 12 mini and uh, with an iPhone 13 Pro. And here's how it works. So to activate it, first of all, it has to be dark. Um, and we can simulate that. If I put my phone down on my desk, it's going to cover the, the rear cameras. And you may have noticed when I did that, this new control appears up here next to the flash control. It's got a little picture of a moon and it says five seconds. That's the amount of time it's going to leave the, the shutter open to capture the long exposure. Now if I tap that, it pulls up this other control down here above the shutter button that defaults to auto five seconds and you can crank that up higher. Now the maximum is dynamic based on the uh, light levels so if I block out even more light it'll go up to a maximum of 30 seconds and I think it also might be dynamic based on the stability of the phone so if you're holding it it might only be 10 seconds but if you have it propped up or on a tripod it may go up to 30 seconds so that's what you do uh, set that to the max and aim your phone at the Milky Way or some other part of the sky that you want to capture and then hit the shutter button and it will capture a you know up to 30 second exposure photo and that will capture detail uh, much more detail than you can see with the naked eye it can be really quite amazing and I've been able to capture even uh, meteors and satellites or Starlink trains and the one of the challenges is the ability to access the shutter button so for example if you put the phone on a flat surface aiming straight up to capture the sky well the shutter button is no longer available so you can't actually start the photo and there's a couple things you can do about that if you tap this little arrow up here it um, brings up this menu on the bottom and one of them is a timer so you can for example have a 10 second timer so then when you hit the shutter button it does this countdown that gives you time to position your camera and lean it up prop it up against something to capture the sky and then it starts the 30 second exposure so that's one thing you can do um, another trick if you have an apple watch is you can do a, a remote control using the camera app on the apple watch you can activate the shutter from that so that way you can get the phone propped up and aimed the way you want it and then uh, start the capture from the apple watch so that's really all there is to it uh, the more difficult challenge might be getting away from dreadful cities with their dreadful light pollution so that you can have a proper dark sky to capture a good picture but uh, otherwise uh, go out and have some fun capturing some astrophotography photos with your iPhone